Well, welcome to Gold Fever Adventures. I'm Jack Tucker. I'm out here in the old Harker Hollas. That's what this is, mountain range is known as, is the Harker Hollas. There's a big ass mining operation over there. Oh, yeah. And a lot of gold has been found around this area. I am on a private mining claim, Gold Fever Prospecting Club, and I'm out here to do a little bit of metal detecting. Today I'm going to be using the MineLab GPX 6000. I've also got the uh, Gold Hawk 9 inch mono coral on the front that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to swing this, we'll see if we can find some gold. Down there yonder over there, yonder, that's a cool word, isn't it? Yonder, down over yonder over there. There's a couple other folks, Mike Pung and Cash Best. They're down there. They're heading this way, doing a little bit of detecting. Maybe we'll catch up with them a little bit later, see if they're finding anything. But I'm going to get suited up, got to change hat, get some headphones on, tune this detector up, and get a swing. And so, hey, if we find anything good, I'll be sure to let you guys all know that. But hey, appreciate you guys coming along and sharing on these adventures. And let's just hope we can go find us a piece of gold today. Thanks for coming along, guys. When I use this machine, I'm going to hunt in just normal ground, and I'm at about the 2 o'clock position is where I like to uh, put this at. It is awful windy out here today. They're calling for rain a little bit later on, so hopefully get an hour or so into this hunt before the rains come anyways. Well, that was down about 3 or 4 inches. It's like a little piece of, might be a little nail maybe, a little shoe tack or dry washer tack maybe. But yeah. Piece of water. A shoe tack or a, a dry washer. Another one of those shoe tacks or dry washer tacks. I better get out of this area. Whew. Well, I'd take a break. I think I'm in a good spot though. Uh, 
Let me show you some of the stuff that I have found so far. I think I'm in a good spot. Uh, it's like a little 22 bullet, a piece of lead. Uh, there's a little nail from either a shoe tack or a dry washer. There's another one from a shoe tack or a dry washer. There's another hunk of lead. Uh, it's just a piece of iron, I'm not sure what that is. That's another little piece of iron. This here's a little dinky, dinky, dinky piece of iron. There's another, I'm not sure what that is, part of an iron or something, some sort of iron. Uh, looks like part of a nail maybe. And uh, another looks like another little part of a nail maybe. But the coolest thing is this here. I think this is an old button is what I'm thinking this is. Looks like there's some type of writing on there. And it looks like it has the hook back there. So uh, that was kind of cool. And then I also did find this. This is a sea rations, biscuits, army rations. So uh, I guess the military was out here and I was wondering if this button might be something to do with the military, but so that's further investigation. I'm gonna have to kind of wash this up and clean this up, but finding all this type of trash, with that type of trash around here, that's a good sign. That means there's, uh, if there's gold here, I'll find it. Somebody hasn't been here. So, I'll find it. I haven't found, you know, any good signals where I want to do like a live dig. If I, if I get a good signal once I scrape the ground down, there still sounds like a good signal, I'll go ahead and do a live ground, a live dig. But uh, I'm not sure where them other two are. They could be anywhere out here. This is a pretty big desert out here. Uh, there's some place over there. Eventually we'll run into them. I just came over to take a break. I think I'm going to uh, move a little bit over here. There's some big washes right here that I don't like. So I just want to get on the other side of these big washes and get over there and then I'll continue to hunt. You can see the Pung Mobile over there. Let me zoom in on that. That's the Pung Mobile. <laughs> yeah. The Pung Mobile. That's a good one, huh? These are always good signs. This is upbringing that came up. And around this area, you'll see where the old timers, they've pushed, they've trenched around these areas here. You'll see some of those around here where they've trenched down. A lot of dry wash tailings down and through here too. Lots of dry wash tailings. They've, uh, they've pulled some nuggets around this area. So I'm gonna swing around here. There's more dry wash tailings right there. I'll swing around here for a moment. Man, it's getting windy. It sure is getting awful windy, I know that. Okay, I'll play around here for a minute. All right, back at the quad again. Didn't find any gold. I still don't know where those guys are. I may have to drive over there and uh, see if I can find them there. But here's what I found this time out. Found me a, a bullet. I think it's a uh, uh, 338 maybe or a mini 14 bullet, I should say. And you get in this area over there and you get these little BBs, these little buckshots. They're all over out here. These little dinky buckshots. Little dinky piece of lead. Another little piece of lead. Another little piece of lead. Oops, what's the coolest thing I found this side of time out? <laughs> this. Now what the hell is this doing out there? Huh? Did somebody have a house once upon a time with the old style key, that was the old skeleton key? That's pretty cool, huh? Uh, and, you know, these set the metal detector off too. These are probably big big chunks of, uh, of uh, not hematite, so it would be uh, 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 not hematite, but uh, uh, not meteorites, but magnetite. That's the word I'm trying to think of, magnetite. So these are big pieces of magnetite. They'll stick to a magnet and they'll set the detector off. But this one here is kind of cool because it's got all the iron in it. It's got your purple looking ugly quartz in it. This is good signs for gold. Yeah, good signs for gold. But I didn't find no gold, so let me go see what those guys are doing, see if I can locate them. 
You know, I think it's getting more windier and cloudier. I think that storm's going to hit us before we know it. I haven't a clue where those guys are, but I'm going to drive around and see if I can find them. They got to be around here somewhere. Big old quartz blowout. You see where people's chipped away at it. All right, I found these guys here. Man, they were way off the little cash. What you been finding? Anything? Bullets. Bullets? Oh, you got two machines too. You hunt with the 6000 and the Monster too, huh? Right. Oh, you tough people, man. God, I swear to God, you guys are tough. There's old Mike down there. Yeah, there. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a bullet. Of, wow, it's been. It's hit something in half one right now. Oh, I'm already doing a Portillo show. Yeah. Wow. That's it. That's your finds? No. <laughs> and the gold monster at the same time. So you'll locate the target with the six, and then you'll pinpoint the gold monster. Okay, got a target. in there so, okay I just got a sound right so now I can scoop up what I sounded and that's it that's how fast it is take half up there and then I just wiggle it into the end of the uh, scoop piece of blade, a scraper blade.
definitely a button. You can tell that. It looks like that might be a V maybe on there. I can't tell what it is though, so. But it is definitely a button. That's the coolest thing that I found anyways. Maybe I can clean it up a little bit more. I don't know, what does anybody think what that is? Well, that's all the fun I can have. I am done. I'm done. Those guys, they'll be out here for a while. They, you know, they're all dayers. Me, I'm good for an hour or two and that's it. Found a lot of trash, didn't find no gold. But hey, you know what? Maybe they'll get lucky and find a piece. But anyways, I'm heading back to the home front. So I want to thank you guys for coming along, sharing on the, another one of these adventures. Remember that life is an adventure. Oh, again, we're on a private mining claim. I see the mining claim sign right there. Gold Fever Prospecting Club. Anyways, you guys all take care. Have a fantastic day. Stay, stay safe out there. It's going to rain on us anytime, though. But anyways, I'm getting out of here. Thanks for coming along, guys.